What's going on guys, it's s 4 here, in today's video I'm going to be doing another review tips and tricks type of video with Fuse. Um, I just did, I, I, so far in the last like 24 hours I've made like a million videos for this game. Um, I'm behind on like Yakuza and Nier, but you know what, at, at least I'm making video. Um, but we're talking about Fuse, and the reason that we're talking about Fuse is I, uh, happen to get the Aberrant Nest objective, and that's a good the presence of aberrant to bring in Fuse, and we found it in the field. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just, we'll worry about the objective and then we'll talk about his kit. So, I'm gonna go through this door. I'm gonna go to the right and up the staircase. Damn it, that door is also shut. I'll get it. I am fast, man. The power of vodka and bears keep me strong. Alright, so one, two, yeah, three, four, five, six. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm up the other staircase. Oh, okay. Where's seven, eight, nine, or ten? Oh man, all the way out here? Yeah, that's the other yep. four. This is what we're gonna do. Yeah, okay, so we can see that through here, right? Oh, uh, just the one. I don't think you this want is me to get those four and you get the rest? I, uh... Let me, let me plan. I think I got these four. Okay. Throw it when you want. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. All right, so what I did with Fuse was I placed it uh, in an area where most of these nests are congested. And I also pair our Fuse up with Nitro Cells because they have a big explosive radius and high damage. I should be able to get all four of those nests with just that one nitro cell. We're about to find out if I can or not. And then once this uh, fuse charger goes off, I'm going to place the second one right here and take care of the rest of the uh, aberrant nests. Fire. Yep, that Lord certainly got all four of them. You're close now. Destroy more of that Trigger the nail platform. Time for That was yes. confusing right Aria there. Can work with yep. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's just take a moment to talk about his kit while there's nothing going on. He, he has the, uh, AK-12, which is a strong he assault rifle. He's got a bit too much recoil for, like, some players, but I've learned to control the recoil. Uh, it also has the 6P41 LMG, which is definitely a strong LMG choice. It's present on all the Russian people, I believe. Um, it does have a 2.5X, so I enjoy having an ACOG. Uh, I think he also comes, yeah, I think he also has the shotgun, the SASG-12. Semi-automatic mad fed. It's definitely the best semi-automatic shotgun you can have in the game. Uh, for pistols, he has the PMM and the GSH-18. I choose the GSH-18 because of the high ammo count. Both of them have no recoil. Uh, the PMM does good damage, but its low ammo count means that you can't- you can't even take out a whole set of spores sometimes without it, uh, running out of ammo. And that's just unwieldy. Other than that, though, he's got a pretty good kit, and his ability zone. is kind of niche. Point. Like, you have to use it for aberrant nests, or like, set up a trap when you're doing, like, uh, sabotage or something. It's not as, like, easy to use as most of the characters in this game. But... Really, it's just good to think about using them for aberrant nests and, uh, the limited time modes that come out, like the one that we had last week, where it was just the best possible mode. Um, this new mode that's come out, this crisis spillover event, and Fuse is probably a good choice when things get swamped, because, like, when I was playing, we got totally swarmed a couple of times, and it would have been good to have a Fuse. Other than that, though, I'm not going to drag this on. There's not too much more to say. Hope you guys have a good day.